Good evening and welcome to this edition of KTN Business. My name is Joy Doreen Bira. After a two-month recruitment process, President Uhuru Kenyatta has appointed Patrick Ngugi Njoroge as the next Central Bank of Kenya governor. As economist and currently uh, consulting for the International Monetary Fund, Ngugi will have to hit the ground running if approved by Parliament in reassuring the market over the weakening shilling. And in a twist of events, the current deputy governor has been retained in his position despite having applied for the top job. It's been an interesting two months as the country waited to see who would be appointed the next governor of the Central Bank of Kenya. It was the first time there appeared to be a power vacuum at the bank charged with dictating monetary policy. But the president finally settled on his man, Patrick Ngugi Njoroge. The governor in waiting is currently an advisor with International Monetary Fund in Washington, D.C. and is said to have a wealth of knowledge in economics with a doctorate of philosophy in economics from Yale University. If approved by Parliament, Ngugi will replace Professor Njuguna Ndungu, whose term expired at the end of March. The incoming governor will have a full entry and will have to hit the ground running. Over the past six months, the Kenya shilling has been under pressure from a strengthening dollar that has seen the local unit hit three-year highs. The central bank has already announced it will be bringing its monetary policy meeting a month forward to June 9th. If approved on time, Ngugi will chair his first meeting faster than other governors. In an interesting twist, the president appointed Heron Sirima as deputy governor despite having applied for the top job. Sirima, until his appointment, was seen as a front runner to fill the position. Recruitment for the deputy governor position is said to have slowed the appointment process after the Public Service Commission re advertised the position after what it termed as lack of a suitable candidate. Met Nyoga, a renowned lawyer, has been nominated as chair of the Central Bank of Kenya. The candidates nominated will now await vetting by the National Assembly upon official appointment. Professor Ndungu is said to have changed the financial landscape from one that was shrouded in mystery to one that is a key driver of innovation. Expectations are high now that the biggest challenge that awaits the new leadership is the weekend shilling. The U.S. dollar continues to gain ground world over. This is one of the challenges the new CBK leadership will have to tackle.